Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we used our royal dispensation to get some answers about the unclear bomb from her renewed majesty. And then ended the episode of the Most Serene Mausoleum because my terror was extremely high. And this place, it turns out, is amazing for reducing your terror. Even better than I thought. One immaculate souls will take your terror down by, I don't know what it was, 50, 60, 70%? It was a lot. So now I want to explore this place here. I think Whirlberry Juxta Mare is here. I think that's an Albion. Not 100% sure. So there must be at least one port left in Albion somewhere in here. Let's go exploring. Already stocked up with fuel and supplies, and I got my smattering of other stuff in case I need it. very tight here. I suppose you're meant to go all the way around rather than go through that little opening, but meh, it's faster. Hmm. I'm thinking I'll go up, I'll go north, so like here, and then just go clockwise like this. That should definitely find it. Right, I got my tear all the way down to 0%. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh. Oh god. Uh oh. Shit. Oh. Yeah. God, that thing's nasty. Nice. I didn't mean to shoot again. Oh, that actually kind of worked out, sort of. Okay, it's on fire. They move so erratically. There we go. <laughs> Disappear, your smoke trail's still there. Go away. Okay. That hurt. A lot. Salvage scrap to repair your hole. Yes. God, that barely did anything. Ten hole. Ah, oh, I almost want to go back to London. Hmm. No, let's press ahead. Fucking guests, man. They never even take off their shoes, just track dirt all over the carpet. Shitty guests. Mists gather soft as Aider down. It's a fight happening over here. I think I want to join the fray just for the possibility of repairing my hole. As long as they're not guests, I should be able to take them pretty safely. Uh, how do I get through here? Ooh, hello. Eh, you're not bothering me.
Try and play this really safe. Breaking into the captain's cabin. Braille of unseasoned hours. Okay, now you're gonna be a problem. Oh. Oh no, not the talk again. Check the rat's nesting area. I think we've done all of these. Grab that dog. With the help of the rats, you wrestle the fluffy menace out. Uncanny specimen lose tear. Hmm. I mean, my tear is so low, but I am going into the unknown. Eh, let's look for an uncanny specimen. I'm pretty low on those. Success? Got one. Ooh, I think I heard get. Yeah, yeah, that's the sound of guests. Shit. Although they are preoccupied with somebody else. Nah, I don't care. I'm not joining that fight. What is this? Is that the storm that speaks? It is. Um. Yeah, all right. I'll go into another one. Sure. Low terror. I've got souls and stuff. This is never not terrifying to go into. Eh. Mm. Oh, not even enough time has passed since the last one to be able to try to speak to them again. So I can't do anything. Over there. That's fine, my tear is low. I'm gonna keep heading northwest and then start to go clockwise after. Eh, you're leaving me alone. Oh, that's. Is that the eel things? You near the ends of the living sky. I don't like that. It looks sort of like the eel things that you can can for food, but almost they almost look thicker, different. Maybe they were changed in the update. Something writhes in the mist. Are very creepy looking. Yeah, I think they probably just changed them in the in the update. The sunless sea. Okay, I need to explore more this way. I want to map out all of this and let's see. I can't just leave that unexplored. Back up. God, right, I forgot they moved this way. Alright, it's going to have to be nice and slow with these. Mm, Jesus. good at dodging. It's bleeding. Oh! Ah. Oh, I can 
can create another wrath of heaven. Searing enigma, right? Because my terror is high enough for it. I'm still never going to be able to uh, equip that since it requires 75 hearts. Hmm. Use its spines to reinforce your damaged hull. Repair hull, gain terror. Your heart skill will affect how much hull you'll repair. Well, my heart skill is garbage, so that's probably not good. Let's commune with the Scorn Fluke. Remember, that's a thing where the more you do it, the more you learn about it. As your knowledge increases, the options available will change. Yes. Take one supplies, that's fine. Soothe the Scorn Fluke. Reach through its spines to touch its flesh. Croon assurances to it. You may be a while. You'd best take supplies. You perch precariously on the edge of the vast eye. The fluke quakes. Its flesh ruptures, releasing spurts of caustic vapors. This close, your sky suit cannot entirely protect you. When you finish coughing, the dizziness is overwhelming. You can smell the fluke's dying wishes are ravaged by its regrets. The search it leaves incomplete. It's fear that the search is impossible and will never end. I think we've seen that before. Vision of the heavens. Um, I now have seven commingling of choirs. You have felt a scorn fluke's tormented musics. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go back this way. I still want to map out more of the Sunless Sea. I've got to check out the whole thing. Something stirs below. Oh. A platform? Also, I just realized, you know what I haven't discovered in Albion, or haven't rediscovered, is the Avid Horizon. So I think there's the Avid Horizon around here, because the Sunless Sea uh, was was part of the whole thing. And then, Chuck's Demare must be somewhere around here. Also, I believe the Avid Horizon is actually a, an encounter that they added. The Avid Horizon um, Horror, which is probably what that is, now that I think about it. That's a whole encounter thing. Look at all those boats. Ships rot on a silent sea. Only gloomy cults and homesick castoffs dwell here. Stare to the sea. Hmm, I think they maybe broke off the way to get to the sea to a separate thing from the main... Like... I'm not sure how to refer to all these different pieces. I think of the Avid Horizon as the port, but I don't think it was actually called that. The Avid Horizon, literally speaking, is the gate, which I believe is this. So I don't know what the actual port's called. But, yeah, I think the way down to the sea is now no longer part of the port. Yeah, they don't sell anything. The stair to the sea, a narrow ledge is lodged into the ice here. Um, this is the stairway down to the flotilla, a makeshift raft of broken and abandoned ships, home to the similarly broken and abandoned. Yeah, so that's all the same at that point. I don't want to go there. Do I want to go there? I think the big thing I was lacking was literature. I think I needed to bring him five. I only have two. Hmm. Someone told me, though, that where you choose to lay your head, where you choose to sleep there, is kind of how you choose which of the three groups you want to be a part of. And I think there's options to, like, renounce your affiliation. So if you don't like them, you could renounce and then try somebody else. So I don't think I have to bring the literature to do something here. So you know what? Let's go down. The winds rattle the iron railings as though trying to throw you from the stair into the churning sea hundreds of feet below. 
You cleave hard to the block of ice, its chill on your cheek as you make the slow descent. Your fingers are thoroughly frozen by the time you reach the bottom and stand on the rusted iron platform that marks the beginning of the flotilla. Okay, so yeah, this is all the same. Sacrifice hours, can't... Oh, I need five barrels of unseasoned hours. And I have earned the wrath of the burrower below. Yay. Approach the gate. Once thousands spilled through from the world you left behind. Now it's half submerged and there have been no newcomers in more than a year. Your crew plead with you to stay. 100% chance of success. Ooh, that's a lot of terror. What do I get from that? Three sky stories? That was not worth it. Okay, I think we've done that before. Return to the flotilla. Silent Mystic is on her wheel away from the other cultists. All right, they didn't want anything to do with me. I think because I had no affiliation. Where will you lay your head at night? Yeah, that's where I choose. Illuminate Archivist. They're the one who wanted the five literature. Yep. So, let's do where will you lay your head at night? Every acolyte has a favorite spot in the flotilla to take their kip. The politics of one's sleeping arrangements are complicated here. Your choices here will affect the dispositions of the cults, uh, cults towards you. Favor with a cult can generate rewards or occasionally open options while pursuing other objectives. Because you were selected by one of the leaders of the mystics to uncover their sacred mysteries, you may sleep where you like. Everyone is eager to see what you choose. There isn't much to do here. Hmm... <laughs> A cozy berth near an open hearth. Wine and candles, shared warmth and traded stories. You're strengthened by community. Or a crow's nest. A lonely eerie far above the mists. You're strengthened by solitude. Or whatever others are doing. Where they sleep, you sleep. You're strengthened by tradition. Hmm... I think Elizabeth's a crow's nest person, strengthened by solitude. After a brief moment of awkwardness when one of the displeased climbs into the nest, sees you and then immediately descends into the mists again, you spend the chilly and undisturbed evening alone. You have not actively upset the displeased. Okay. Well, sounds like I sort of displeased one of the displeased, but... I guess I didn't actively upset them. The displeased are indifferent to your existence. Cool. Maybe the silent mystic will speak to me now? Or I could sing? Yeah, silent mystic. Attempt. Hmm. Nope. Let's sing. On rising, there is singing. For some, a morning chorus. For others, a lament. Lungs swell. The flotilla's dwellings are made of broken boats and battered carpentry. Mists, luminous and sinuous, snake through the gaps. Voices carry on the breeze. Each could be just beside you. Or... Or on stood, or on stood on a distant deck? I don't understand that sentence. Here there are no echoes, and the sky swallows all songs. I'll sing nonetheless. What do you sing of? Of the place you left behind. Of loss, of life. Of loss. There's much to sing of. Like the clumsy conductor. Your voice is raw and hoarse. You're not sure there's a tune, but there is an abundance of feeling. Private torments carry on the wind, harmonizing with your own. The displeased have discovered you. They do not like you. Well, they are the displeased, right? They probably don't like anybody. Um, how about now? Do I have higher initiated? 
No, still initiated one, so I'm sure this won't do anything. Nope. Give a confession. At this hour, the acolytes purge themselves of their sins. Confessions are to be given and to be received. You're expected to take part. The acolyte smiles as you kneel in front of her. A bowl of salt water is between you. You do not speak to each other, but to the water, which will drown your secrets. Your eyes meet in the bowl. Her smile widens in encouragement. Confess an error of yearning. You long for things to be as they were. So Elizabeth thinking about the clumsy conductor and also when they got, still don't know how to describe it, infected or whatever with the affliction that makes them turn to glass. Yeah, they're thinking of a time before both of those things. The acolyte nods encouragingly. She speaks a few words from the book. I, too, long for all manner of things. Her eyes widen as though she misspoke. I mean that I wish to see sunlight and starlight again, but we have fallen and such things are denied to us. She leans in to whisper her own confession to the bull. You have pleased the superlipsarians. You were not spoken to by the superlipsarians. You have not been introduced. What will you do with a confession you've heard? This is the hour in which the acolytes decide what to do with their confessions. The superlipsarians have elaborate rituals surrounding confessions. The other acolytes have mimicked their example and used this hour to keep or betray the confessions they recently heard. Whatever you do here may already have been done to you. Mm, betray it. Don a mask, a pre-celestial tradition. That reminds me of something from Sunless Sea, just vaguely. Wearing a mask and confessions. Or keep it. A secret kept has value. A secret shared is no longer a secret. Indeed. You stored in the portion of your mind where all secret and buried things go. When you see the acolyte again, she will remember that you've kept her trust. You will smile at each other, bonded in that knowledge. You've pleased the sanctified. You're invited to join the revelry and take the names of the saints in your mouth like a bit. Dine at the feast? At the end of the day, the acolytes gather for a feast. If you were cynical, you might suggest this was the only reason the sects banded together. Makeshift tables are laid with the fruits of the quiet sea. Some acolytes have spent their days on the waves, fishing, for whatever blind writhing things count as fish here. Others forage for preserved food from the forgotten ships. Still others range farther among engine wrecks and refuse of the bureau. Wisely rationed, there's enough for one such feast every week or so. How will you dine? With traditional decorum, with gusto, or with restraint. With gusto, a feast is no time for restraint. A fork in each hand, you abandon yourself to your appetites. The tablecloth runs with wine and juices, as do your clothes and your chin. You eat as a famished, religion is hungry work. The sanctified look on admiringly. You've pleased the sanctified. I consider you worthy of bargaining with a high accolade. Huh. Make an offering for more time on the flotilla. An uncanny specimen. Yeah, sure. There's more you wish to do here among the cults of the Avid Horizon. Uh, wait. This will reset your progress with the cults and restart the hours counter. This will allow you to change the dispositions you have with the cults. So that's like a reset button? But I thought they said they wanted to, like, bargain with me. How do, how do I do that? If I reset everything, isn't that going to mean I can't bargain? 
Uh, what about the illuminated archivist? Anything new? No. I sure make an offering for more time. Okay. Your offering is brought to the silent mystic atop her wheel. She breaks off a piece of your specimen and chews thoughtfully. Yes. Succor? She rasps. Let them stay. Yeah, it's pronounced sucker. <laughs> uh, yeah, sucker. Assistance and support in times of hardship and distress. That is, please do not bother to say farewell. They have no expectation of your return. The sanctified bid you farewell. Perhaps you'll join them again when you return. Same for the super lipsarians. Okay, so what about the silent mystic now? Now will you speak with me? Nope. Hold on, there was... Uh, no, not them. Back. Oh, it's starting to get a bit laggy. But there's an option here I couldn't do. What was that? Ask her for a secret. Mm, I think that's when I actually like fully join one of the cults. Okay, so now we do this over again, and I guess I need to... I guess I, it's kind of a puzzle to figure out what each group of people like, and then try to go really hard for one. And I need to go so hard that they actually want me to join them before the end of the night. Otherwise, I just have to try again. So... Let's do the crow's nest. Well, maybe I should do the sanctified. Because I kind of know what some of those are. So the sanctified, what are they like? Mm. Cozy birth? Um, yeah, you've pleased the sanctified. A member of the sanctified invites you to join them. Their birth is small, like a coffin covered in blankets. The evening passes in clouds of smoke, so that all of your clothes reek of the bonfire. You wake a good deal more familiar with some of your fellow acolytes than you had been before. Okay, sing. Sanctified would definitely sing of life, right? The riot and revel of it. I think they're that sort of person. Yes, you've pleased the sanctified. There's stamping, there's roaring, there's chanting. Chests are pounded and throats bellow. You sing of consumption, of having, of being, of sharing, and being shared. Confession. Yearning. Uh. Shit, I can't remember. Is that the one I did that they liked? I think. I think. No, the Super Lipsarians. Okay, it's probably... I can't see the other options. I think it was the bottom option, though. What will I do with a confession? Hmm. Betray it? Sorry, I think that's the right one. Oh, no, that's about the displeased... Oh, wow, I'm just fucking this up. Okay, I'll get it next time. Unless this is enough to get me there. There are candles lit for you and wine spilled for you and meat carved for you. Oh. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I have an offer. Attend the last rite. As the other cultists are departing, your friends among the sanctified bid you join them. They promise a reward. The donation of hours. You're brought to the cabin of some long-gone captain. It's stuffed full of pewter goblets, faded newspapers, tattered finery, and plundered jewelry. The horde of the lost. The jolly anchorite roars as he sees you. Come. The mystic has honored us with her presence, having been taken with our rites and mysteries. Tonight she drinks with us. A chorus of cheers goes up from the gathered sanctified. The silent mystic looks up from her cup with a red-stained grin. The evening is long, and 
held entranced by the mystic's long, incoherent stories of the fall of kings. When at last she's done, she gives you a donation of hours. Stolen when I fled, she tells you, before turning away. One barrel of unseasoned hours. Okay. So, they didn't ask me to join them or anything. Okay, let's go again. I can nail it this time. It is getting choppy, but I think if I leave, I maybe can't go back immediately. I'm not sure. Anyway, cozy birth. Pleased the sanctified. Sing. Of life. Please the sanctified. Give a confession. Fuck, I've already forgotten. Uh, well, it wasn't yearning, right? So it's the bottom one. Confess an error of sentiment? No, <laughs> why do I keep fucking this up? The acolyte frowns. Your heart betrays you. It teaches you a lesson. Listen to it. Our innermost selves are the worst traitors of all. Against that betrayal, there is only one self-defense. Or one defense, rather. Self-denial. Once you enter the cycle of betrayal, and betrayal in turn, you will begin to understand. What will I do with a confession? So betray it, wasn't it? Was it keep it? Yes. Sanctified like that. Clementine will remember that. Dying at the feast. Gusto. So now I can just do the last right thing again. Is it just the same event? Yeah. I wonder what I have to do to make them offer me uh, to join their cult. Maybe I just have to please them with every single one because I missed one there. Okay. Do it again. I'll nail it this time. <laughs> Cozy birth near an open hearth. They like that. It's getting so jobby. Sing not of life. The first one? Of loss? Please tell me it's the first one. Okay. Once again. I got it this time. Cozy birth near an open hearth. They like that. Sing. Of the life? Yes. I could just write this down, and it'd be much easier, but I want to memorize it. <laughs> Give a confession. Confess an error of despair. I th think that's the one. Yes. What will I do with the confessions? I will keep it. Yes. Dine at the feast. We know exactly what to do here. And I think that's it, right? It is generally allowed you have something of the currency of sanctity about you. Huh. Just still attend the last rite. That's it. How do I speak with the mystic then? So I do that. Same thing as before. I can't try to speak to the mystic right now. Um... Huh. I don't know how to get my initiate status up. Maybe I need to bring the literature to, to get that up. Okay, well, I think we've seen enough. And it, I mean, look at this little bar over here. Look at how fucking huge this is. My god. <laughs> Let's leave. Please make the lag stop. Oh. Now that I've gotten so many hours, I can appease the burrower below. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I want it to see me. To have wrath for me. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? It 
It is kind of interesting. Do I want to keep it just because it's in? Yeah, okay. I'm just going to keep it. I've had no encounter with the burrower below. I'd like to have one. Please, close. Close, I beg you. There we go. Oh! Lag gone. Okay, so where's the port? Mm. Something ghastly over there. Oh, wait, the Avid Horizon was something ghastly, wasn't it? So then what's the horror? Huh. Right, well, it's... Uh, the dock is most likely somewhere over here. Because I wouldn't think it would be this close to the most serene mausoleum to be here. I'm instinctually following the, following the line of boats beneath me. Ooh, a weft of time. I need to go into one. Wait, if that's the ghastly thing, then... Ah, who knows anymore. For now, though, I want to find the port. She tries to put a brave face on it, but even your aunt is harrowed by the growing tension. You can smell the sherry on her breath. A memory. The hiss of slow, dark surf and the chitter of z-bats. The welling of gloomy deeps. Ah, there it is. Okay, that's the Avid Horizon. I thought it was marked as something ghastly before, but I could be wrong. Maybe they changed it, or maybe I just misremembered. Hmm, hello. That ship is actually pretty easy to take up close, because its gun can only fire straight. Panes of stained glass, 73% chance. Hmm. I don't want to do this, because I'll gain terror, and my terror is already 55%. But cover glass, I could lose someone if I do that. But 73% chance is pretty good. Partial success, okay. Clad in your sky suits, you and several crew locate a wide section of glass contamination on the dreadnought's underbelly. But as you gingerly pry it free, hairline fractures begin to spread across it. The hole groans, your crew panic. Oh, abandon it. Let's not risk anybody. You scramble to safety as the hole splits and the glass shatters into a spray of razor-sharp shards. You retrieve some larger pieces, which might fetch a few sovereigns in port, and retreat to your engine with your lives and a story of a close call. What are these, like, floating platforms? They look like this thing. Are they supposed to be part of a bridge and it just, like, broke? Where was the bridge going to? Huh. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to see what we can do at the new home bureau, and then after that, go to the Avid Horizon and see what the encounter there is like.